Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So we see this footage of Rudy Gobert and Draymond Green. It started out with Klay Thompson and Jaden McDaniels. You know, they got into it and it looks like they were about to throw hands. They were really getting physical with each other, but both refrained from throwing punches, which is smart, you know, but it's good to see this in-season tournament bringing that out of players. Well, um, I want to go back to something Draymond said after his technical the other day and getting ejected. Um, he says, I'm in year 12 and y'all still telling me to stop being Draymond. Don't get a tech, blah, blah, blah. 12 years later and y'all still trying to coach me on how to be me. I am better at being Draymond than anybody. Imagine if I told y'all how to do your job. You'd look at me crazy. I thought y'all should know how dumb you all look trying to tell me how to be me. If y'all had some advice for your own lives, the world would be a much better place and you would be far better at your job than your mediocre outputs. Happy Sunday, good people. Right back at it like an addict. And that was just a couple of days ago. And as we analyze this footage, Draymond may get a harsh pun punishment. I don't know where a chokehold and a, and a um, punch how they align in the rule book but I do know with his reputation and it being deemed unnecessary because Rudy Gobert wasn't even trying to hit Claire or nothing like that I do applaud Draymond for coming in interjecting and getting right in the middle of the fray because you got all those seven footers around um, your teammate and I'm going to tell you I'm more mad at Carl Anthony Towns for just sitting there watching that and not getting involved, not even pushing Draymond Green. You know, this is where that soft label comes from. You watching your teammate getting choked out, it should be a natural reaction for you to return some sort of physicality, man. You can't let another, see, you can't let a player on another team that predicates himself on being an enforcer come over there and do something like that to your two seven-footers who's supposed to be you know, your line of defense in the paint. This is ridiculous, man. I, I, and I love 90s basketball and stuff. I I started making this video just to say Draymond's going to get punishment. Not that I'm even mad at it, but I'm more mad at Carl Anthony Towns for sitting there watching his fellow twin tower getting pulled down to the ground like that. That is ridiculous, man. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.